year 13 hopefully this, this will help you uh, with the basic planning of your year 13 comparison coursework so hopefully you've made some really good progress by now with your reading of your text and you have an idea about what uh, your topic is going to be and some areas of focus what we generally tend to find is the students at this point get too down into the nitty-gritty of the integrated literary and linguistic analysis but actually we need to take a bit more of a step back first of all in terms of planning. So this is the steps that we recommend you take in terms of the planning of your essay. What I suggest you take a piece of A4 or A3 paper and in the middle of it you write your topic of focus. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to draw a circle around it, an AO1, and you put that there like that and I'll explain how we're going to do with that in a minute. You will then do a second circle around it for AO3 which counts as our context then you're going to have another circle around that, AO1 again for your quotation. And finally, on the outside, you should have enough space to do some AO2 analysis for that. So that's what your basic sheet should look like. But what does it actually look like in practice? So let's say your topic, you're going to be focusing on an integrated literary and linguistic approach to uh, the presentation of women. What you want to do in your first circle, that is where you need to take the idea of women and you need to make it much more specific. So they're presenting women in what way or what about women are they presented? I'm not looking for your quotation. I'm just looking for the idea that is associated with it. So three ideas it could be. First of all, it could be the physical abuse of women. So I know some of you will probably have picked 12 Years a Slave. Physical abuse obviously appears in that through the character of Patsy. And that might be one thing that you're going to focus on, perhaps in a comparison text. You might also look at the emotional abuse and that might have lots of lots of interesting context uh, associated with it. If we're talking about the fact that women weren't even seen in society uh, for a very long time as well. I know some people have wanted to compare it to Michelle Obama's Becoming, and as a result, minority women might also be a nice, interesting nuance to associate with that. So in your first box, what you're doing is you're putting the basic paragraph summary that you're going to have. So these are your three paragraphs of focus, the physical abuse, the emotional abuse and the minority women facing bigger challenges. And as a result of that, in your next circle, you need to put links to these things, contextual factors. So I'm going to focus specifically on this one. So you could say for Michelle Obama, one contextual factor that is very relevant is the, the fact that she was the first African-American first lady in history. And obviously that's very important because obviously that was only very late comparatively to how many first ladies that there have been. And that might be something relevant to put in. In the next box, you then follow that along and you need a quotation to support this idea. I've been the only woman, the only African-American in all sorts of rooms. So that would be a nice quotation that you've picked, which links to minority women facing bigger challenges, AO1, but also linking to some AO3 context as well. And then in the final part, AO2, that's where you put the analysis. So we could say the repetition of only implies her extreme isolation as a minority woman, reinforced by the parenthetical clause, which shows her focus on her race. She seems to argue being a person of color is even more of a limiting factor than her gender. And as you'll see in that AO2, you've got that li uh, literary, integrated literary and linguistic approach to that, focusing on the repetition, but then the parenthetical clause as well for that. And that would be for one text. So what I would suggest you then do is in another colour, you would potentially do exactly the same thing for minority women up there through that state, because then you've got your AO4 comparison as well. So this is just a way to be able to lay out your analysis. You do exactly the same for physical abuse. You put the context there, the quotation and the analysis, the context there, quotation and analysis, because that way you're really mapping it out in terms of the structure of it. You would then use your paragraph planner in terms of putting that in place, but hopefully that will at least give you the starting point for it. Have a go with this structure. This might be something to be able to help you out in general. And let's see how we get on with that.